What's up everyone? Today I want to give you a quick tour of my solar setup for my Subaru Outback. This is a 100 watt Renogy solar panel. Um, it's working really well. I've had this solar panel set up like this for two years now and haven't had any problems with it. This is how I have the solar panel connected to the car. So this is Super Strut. And um, I have these these kind of bolts that go into it and so it's easy to take off you know I could they're just hand tightened I drilled this hole so this hole right here I drilled in the solar panel um, to connect this bracket and it just gets connected down into here um, this is just one one piece of super strut so this cost me about I think it was like forty dollars for this and I cut it in half, and so now I have two pieces. Let's see if we can get in here, you can see that. So yeah, you can kind of see how the super strut is just bolted to the rack here. So it's pretty easy. I could take the solar panel off. It's actually really easy to take the solar panel off. So I don't want to take it completely off, but you can see how it's connected to my roof rack. The wires just kind of follow the super strut. Just kind of have the wires kind of secured like that. And um, it's really nice because the panel kind of fits in right here. There's this little lip here and it kind of just keeps it little bit secure um, so I like that kind of fits perfectly I've had no problems with it over all the years so wanted to share it with you guys I think this is the best solar setup that I've seen on a Subaru the wires just come in right through here I didn't change anything I didn't cut anything or do anything to this so they just fold in right through there Um, yeah, I've had no problems with this. These, these wires I've only had in for about six months. Um, but I've had previous wires come through here and just had no problem whatsoever. These, these wires go into my Renogy charge controller. So there's a couple different solar systems that I've had over the years. This is the most recent and I think this is the best for, for myself. But originally I just had one wire coming in here and it plugs straight into my Jackery. So I ran that wire, you know, just down, down through here, and I was able to just plug it into the Jackery, and, and that's what I lived off of for almost two years, was just this little Jackery 240 and this 100 watt solar panel. Um, since then, I've gotten a fridge, freezer, and I needed to increase my battery power, so and this is gonna be really hard to see, but I'll, I'll get a light in here. Um, this is where I put my Renogy charge controller. These, So these wires go into my solar panel and they just plug right into the, um, the charge controller. Um, so how I charge my Jackery now is um, I just plug it straight into my car. So this is just kind of an extension cord. It goes into the cigarette outlet that's back there is powered by my car. I also have a separate um, solar panel, folding solar panel that I use. Um, so let's let's go into kind of the guts of my battery system. Okay. That works all right. This is the Renogy. This is the DC30. This is connected to my, um, my car's alternator, really my car's starting battery. Down under it, I have a 100 amp hour um, lithium phosphate battery <clears throat> that's connected right now. And so 
the last like six months I've just been using that like this has been just powering my fridge basically um, since then I actually have a new battery that I haven't even taken out of the package yet but this is another 100 amp hour it's a Renogy lithium phosphate um, battery that I'm going to connect so um, coming up pretty soon here I'll actually have 200 amp hours of LiPo4 battery and yeah it's just going to be plenty of power for for anything I need so um yeah I'll show you how the Renogy I'll actually show you kind of how this is um set up but basically this just connects everything it connects my solar panel to my car's alternator and it's just a really good way to charge these deep cycle batteries this is the DC30 which is a a small version so they have the dc30 and the dc50 um i i'm not an electrician i don't know much about electricity and wires so it was a bit overwhelming and there definitely was a learning curve it was um, a little bit difficult to install the um the deep cycle batteries and the the renogy kind of charge controller but there are plenty of tutorials on youtube that kind of show you let me pop my hood All right, I feel like my battery looks okay, but these wires, so this is my, my starting battery. Um, what, what we do, what I did was I connected these wires. I think these are four gauge wires and I ran them through a fuse. There's actually a fuse um, right in here. So that's, that's a fuse right there. Um, and they just go back, kind of ran them through here, up and around. And this is actually how they get into the cabin. So they go through kind of the frame there. So those wires go through the frame. They actually come out kind of right through there. It's like the firewall. And what I've done is I took this off. Um, and I actually routed them, I actually routed them under, under this. So the wires go under here and they come out. So I ran the wires and they come out right through, kind of right through here. So I'm really happy with that. It took a long time, but I feel like it's really clean. Um, so that's how, that's kind of the basic setup of my car. Um, it was, you know, it's, it's kind of a hard place to get in here and work on it. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty much done for the foreseeable future. I just have to connect the, you know, one more battery and that's about it. So I'll have 200 amp hours of um, battery. I have a 100 watt solar panel. And I also have my car's alternator that charges my solar setup. So for the people who know about like amps and voltages and all that stuff. So the DC30, um, it's a 30 amp charge controller. But what it does is it kind of limits it only pulls like 15 amps from my starting battery which um, i wanted something a little bit lower so if i went with a 50 the dc 50 it would pull 25 amps from my starting battery and i just didn't really want to harm the battery so i went with the lower um like the lower amperage charge controller so what it does is it pulls 15 amps from my starting battery and it could pull up to 15 amps from my um my solar panel, but my solar panel only, you know, max amperage from this is probably only like maybe two or three. So um, I do want to add more solar to my car. Um, in the future, um, I would like to do kind of a pullout solar panel. We'll have like, I don't know, I'm still kind of thinking about it. I've been thinking about it for years now, but I want to have another solar panel on top that I could pull out 
and kind of extend and have like 200 watts of solar. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just give you kind of a quick little tour while, while it's all kind of empty, but I got this, this is a makeup. It's like a makeup thing or something. I got it from Amazon. People store makeup and brushes in here, but I really like it because it's a good way to, um, to organize my wires, just kind of all the smaller things, all the junk. So I really like this. I built this here. So I have my rubber totes that go in here. There's some storage back here. So this is where I keep like binoculars, um, first aid kit. It's kind of a little cubby right here. This jump starter has saved me so many times. Well, not even saved me, mostly saved other people. But it's really nice to have kind of a jump starter pack like this. So I'm really happy with that purchase. Simple setup that's been changed over the years. You know, a couple pullouts, uh, a couple drawers. I'm gonna redo this. Now that my setup is kind of changed, I have my camper and stuff. I'm gonna redo it, kind of just tailor it again, but um, this is kind of a nice addition too. This is connected to my 100 amp hour deep cycle battery. And this this is how I plug in my uh, my fridge freezer, but it has an extra kind of outlet here, um, which is nice. So this is kind of one, one charging station. And then my, I use my Jackery a lot as well. Yeah, it's pretty empty right now. I need to definitely clean it out. But this is my my setup. It's worked well over the years and I'm really happy with it. This was just kind of a quick video. I just wanted to show you kind of a solar setup for a Subaru Outback. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll leave some links to the products in the description and keep chasing your dreams. I hope you have a good one. Later. Bye.